Resident Evil. Attractive loading screens. Right then, so Steve, Jay, Mike. Typewriter. Part four. Your shotgun went half gone. In the previous episode, Steve proved how much of a vegetarian he isn't by taking down a gigantic turnip. Yeah. With tentacles. With a shotgun. That I'll never use again. Yeah, with a shotgun. That was pretty good. I, I personally would have just, you know, used some garden shears. I like to go overkill, you know. Balls teeth. Balls teeth? Balls teeth in this motherfucker. Mind you, I would have got plant 42 mm -hmm. semen all over my arm and thus died of poison. Yeah. So, no. I don't know, you know, I'm actually, uh, at the jury still out, I don't think it can poison. Safe sex, kids. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's, yeah. Radio! Obligatory cutscene that I don't really need to do. She's basically calling up the radio and they can't hear her and they moan for a second not talking to each other and you find out the helicopter's not fucked off and left you. The end. He has fucked off and left. Why can't I skip the fucking cutscene? Why did you answer the radio? Because it's Broken. voice acting that we can't hear. Oh, she doesn't swear in this. It's only in the remake. She goes, shit. Shit. That was thrilling, but I did get to look at some bricks. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's not all bad. Apart from the bricks are repeated and repeated and repeated. Yeah, you notice that when you look at the backgrounds and stuff, a lot of it is just pre renderedly, you know, slapped down. You know, it's, it's what's known as a technical Scooby Doo. Speaking of Scooby Doo, no dogs. Wait, that's in the next area where I left them, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Oh. You're going to get numbed, boy. Probably. <laughs> or knobbed. They'll hump your leg. Dogs do that, you know. I don't know. Zombie dogs walk. Uh, I suppose they might have a creep in it. Carried it through. It heightened their aggression. Aggression is usually aligned with testosterone. Yeah, but half the fucking flesh is shagging. shagging off. I mean, in the Resident Evil films, it looks like someone's just got some red jelly and just smeared it all over it, fucking. Flesh hanging off doesn't mean anything other than it's going to hurt. Well, why is he raining snakes? It's great. <laughs> Look at it. I if like they bite you, they go, ow. I like Snake. snakes. I really do. That's you on the Metal Gear playthrough then. I, I, no, 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 not <laughs> not not like solid snake. I like the wibbly wobbly ones. How many great rounds have I got? Liquid snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll do. <laughs> I'm going to get into this hind now. <laughs> Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> great rocks. So why don't you just hide down a drain? That would have ended Metal Gear quickly. Yeah, I'm it. Oh my god. <laughs> they can't jump over the fucking thing. I'm not gonna uh, okay. I fucking told you to bring that pistol, didn't I? Why? They are so stupid. <laughs> Running away. <laughs> Your so it, shit. It turns the other way. I love how wanky those dogs are. And we go from ineptitude and horrifyingly shit enemies to... You know. My personal nightmare. Oh, I, you come back and there's, there's giant frogs in the uh, house, isn't the, there? These things appear in my nightmares. Frog gorillas. Well, I can see why. It's because uh, this is where the game went from door to just being shit. Because, like, you, you fire at them uh, with your pistol and uh, they take, like, about uh, 100 bullets to, uh, to say ouch. And you, you decide to turn around and run and they just kill you in one. They teleport a fucking mile toward you with their claws out. And I do like this, though, this pre ordination of one chasing. And now, a fire button flashback. <laughs> Young Steve, alone, playing his game. Sees that arm, shits a brick, decides to flee from manic creature, and loses his head. Literally. Whereas, Education, motherfuckers. Whereas teenage Jay was all like, what the fuck is that shit? It's made from Brussels sprouts. Of course, this time Steve overcompensates by hitting it with a fucking watering can of great death. Yeah, I think I used all mine at the time. Or, or, yeah. or didn't have it, I don't know. You see, I know where all the bullets are, so I'm at a bit of an advantage. It's gotta be so. We've only got like four rooms we need to go with what unlock with the door. Unlock with the door, unlock with the key. Use your brains, dude. Oh god. No, why don't you shoot your No! What? <laughs> <laughs> Jill is like Homer Simpson, like goes on, like goes off, like goes on, like goes off. Best bullets in the game. Because they make Magnums work. And Magnums working is what keeps us alive in the last boss. And a book that Jay might have written called the Doom Book. Yes! Actually, I, I didn't write it, but uh, I know of it. Uh, the uh, the, the mass Depths of the Doom trilogy sort of book. No, that's actually the box set. Um, ignore what I'm saying. But well, anyway, got the medal out of the book, throw the book away as it's tertiary to our objectives of escaping the shithole once and for all. That's a hell of a prize just for reading a few pages. Yeah, well, more cut into it. It's halfway into the book. It's sort of like, yeah, you don't want to know how this shit ends. Just take this and go. You know what worries me? 
everything. Audio Hunters. cues. I can't. T- the volume can't be loud because of the microphone. Hunters make a distinct noise to give you give them away to you. Are they gonna fuck it up? Oh, so, are you complaining that there's an actual element of horror finally happening in a survival horror game? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> bye bye. I tensed up for a second there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah. There's clenched. a note on the wall, Barry loves me, he's leaving me bullets. You clenched hard enough to swallow up half the sofa. They scare me. That, they, they look horrible and shit, <laughs> but they scare me, alright? We all have our own irrational fears. You know, spikes what, why is there stuff all over this room that you've been in and left empty before? Barry, Barry decided to leave a nice little deposit in your box. Yes. He is a messy sod. He, just, he could have put it in the box instead of just fucking ejaculating his pocket contents all over the floor. Well, Barry, that Ironically, Barry there's a spray there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, I don't need this. I don't need that for a much bit yet. Okay. He's put his ice creams away. Yeah. No good until he's got the stick. Now, do I get the magnum first, or do I fight the snake first? Magnum. Magnum. Ugh, that means more hunters. You're not allowed to use the magnum on the snake. Uh, have I got enough ammo? I'm, I'm weighing up the I'm weighing up my options here. Yeah, Save what, the acid rounds. Uh, I thought he was asking, snake. asking me if you had had enough ammo because like I don't fucking know. what's that bit of paper? I'm it's not... Barry basically saying I love you, Jill. Have these bullets. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh right, so that would have explained all my dumb questions, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did you not hear me as I was going in the room? There's a love letter from Barry explaining, it, and then you went, "What the fuck is this shit?" No, I ne- <laughs> I never listened to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Barry, being the master wordsmith that he is, the note actually says. Dear Jill, there's some equipment in this room. I would have kept it for myself, but I have this. And then in brackets, oh they God. can't see me, so just imagine I'm compensated. It's like evil Ninja Turtles. Dead evil Ninja Turtles, but evil Ninja Turtles. You're scared of these things? They, they, I have got the gun of kill everything right now. They aren't going to be much of a threat. But there's a reason I'm overcompensating with a fucking thing. Seriously, if you got your back turned toward them, they can kill you in one. Yeah, I think they've ripped that out. Uh, uh, director's cut onwards, but still. are they the only thing in the game that does that? What insta kill you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, well, I tyrant found, can wreck you pretty quickly, but he can't insta kill. I found you. one other thing that instantly kills you. Um, the off button. Oh yeah, that, I know, I know. it really fucked my shit up. But you know, it, it was great because then I could play another game. Yeah. It's like the best kind of respawn. What? This isn't where I want to be. This is where I want to be. <laughs> it's like, you know, um, sort of Mortal Kombat 2, the arcade had this hidden game of Pong. I found a hidden game of Ridge Racer in Resident Evil. Now I just turned it off, put the Ridge Racer disc in instead, and powered it on, and th- there you go, a hidden Ridge Racer. That was great. Best bit about this game. Oh, go away! Fuck your knee! <laughs> it was trying to. It got round to the foreplay, which involves poking it with claws. Oh, they can corner trap you. They can actually get you in a point where they stun lock you and keep getting at you. They can attack fast and come out. There is one point in this video where I may actually be getting that close as well. Oh, fuck my life. See, well, it's okay. Just turn around. It'll all be fine. Yeah, make it quick. <laughs> yeah. What they really should have done is just put the. Uh, Boom! Put like magical pills in the corners of, of, the, of the room so that w- when you collect them they all turn blue and you can eat them what oh I turn see. the tables pac-man it. it yeah yeah it, well you know this game really just is pac-man on a larger scale with shit cameras isn't it <laughs> uh, that, that, this room actually looks quite nice with all the death in it yeah <laughs> Um, Happy Steve. <laughs> but no, I mean we've been boning about wallpapers and stuff for a while, haven't we? And uh, yeah, the decor here certainly isn't creepy. No, the, the wallpaper's nice. The flooring's nice. Has somebody left a biscuit on the table? Uh, I think it's a thing. Oreo. No, it's not an Oreo. Look, that, that's a Garibaldi biscuit. Oh, orders. Right, I'll have oh, orders. Not Three packs orders. custard creams. <laughs> a pack of Garibaldi. Uh, some bourbon creams. It's got to be a palette of all Surely creams. bird and durban creams. And that crispy no. shit from around your mother's fudge. Delicious. Oh, you, you went there. That's just dark. <laughs> Silly Jay, that's not a biscuit. That's literally It's a wafer. <laughs> what, not a waffle? <laughs> not a waffle. <laughs> we had to go there eventually, didn't we? The blue waffle. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I know it's a horror-themed game, but we didn't, <laughs> we didn't really have to go that dark. Resident Evil just got much more scary. <laughs> right. 
So I declare this so, the um, best video on YouTube. On a, on a completely unrelated note, this is Steve playing Resident Evil as Jill in the blue outfit. Oh. <laughs> right. Seriously, the point of that banister is... Uh, to piss you off! Now shut up! <laughs> Look! The designers literally thought there would be a guy named Adam, and yeah, you were not like that. I don't know what your problem is, because they build banisters like that to stop small children from tumbling downstairs and breaking their shit. You know... You just hate kids, don't you? <laughs> you, you do! How many rockets... Oh, Jesus, Adam. This guy's back to you. Take his head off. That's because kids are taller than Adam. <laughs> yeah, this is true, actually. That noise, it goes through me every fucking time. What? Me, me saying that things are true. Send your montages to Firebug. What, Hunter screams? Yes. The first one to make me cry is a bastard. Face count. Yeah, you just get get a get a Hunter screen, put it in Audacity, loop it for about an hour. Ten burn, hours. Burn it onto CD. <laughs> Die! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Play it while Steve sleeps. <laughs> That's like making H listen to the drowning sound from Sonic all night long. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that too. Just in the morning, you know. Or the Dehaka song to me. So you put in the other other eye in the. Uh... Yeah, we fixed it. So <laughs> amateur eye surgery, it may be stabbing jewels into its eye, but we get a gun as a reward. Only in a video game would that puzzle make any fucking sense usually you'd sort of see gemstones you wouldn't think about that pointless rotating tiger you'd probably try and fucking rotate it with your own brute force uh, the gemstones you just think yeah I'm pocketing these when I get out of this shit I'm going to make some dollar well actually there's a reason behind putting the gems in it it reads some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye is that all? that's your clue it's not even a fucking puzzle is it it no. may as well be a colouring book no. Oi, thicko! Put shit here! What you see in here is a really protracted version of Mario Paint, minus the core music function. Yes. Let's face it, that, that music function is like the main selling point these days. Well, yeah, they, they made a Windows program of that music thing. Hmm. But it's not as good, because it doesn't have Mario running along the top. Does it? Oh, I feel yeah. ripped off. I want my money back. I'm so sad that my Snez mouse. Sne your Smez? <laughs> my Smez mouse. Your Smeg mouse. Yeah. Well, if you covered it in your Smeg, there's no wonder. What are you going to say? It doesn't work? Yeah, my sticky yeah. pointer doesn't work, so I can't play my RP. Your sticky pointer doesn't work. Sticky pointer. Oh, no, that's tragic. I don't know what to say to that, except maybe I'll get my shotgun now. Can you combine those Magnum things? Yep. Yes, I, I somehow thought you could do that. I've watched you do it about four times in this. Uh, Sorry, I don't playthrough. mean to be boring people. It's just, you know. <laughs> We're post cognitive. Space conversation. Conversation? Yeah, space conversation. Why not? Space conversation? Conservation. That's the one. I think I'm leaving some shells out. Be right. Right. And I think we are good to go. Steve officially has shotgun ammo squared. So, you know, we did the uh, Resident Evil 2 sort of uh, playthrough. I didn't see you do nearly as much, like, inventory switching. Yeah, because RE2's pretty fluid. I I have just now come to the conclusion that whereas Resident Evil 2 is door porn, this is inventory porn. Inventory porn? Yes. <laughs> you have been fiddling with that little inventory for so long. It's going to fall off. You two should basically get a room. You see, if that ballast wasn't there, you could have just walked <laughs> around. <laughs> they designed them that way, Adam. Dude, do you even architecture? Where's you know when I get my own place, I'm deliberately putting the fridge in front of the bog? You can <laughs> piss yourself. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's hilarious. <laughs> God. <laughs> My God. Right. So, find a giant snake then. That's the next objective in my list of speedrun tips for Steve. This isn't really a speedrun. I don't know, it? actually. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty quick. There's cool a few, I've, I've done a few extra bits just to get more bullets. But otherwise, pretty close. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty awesome and modest. It's got yeah. all these bullets, but no batteries to work them with. Did, did, I didn't, I don't know. I'm going in here. Ruining the speed run, because I think I left a herb in here on a previous video. You OCD motherfucker. Is, is this the one with the uh, thing with the... Where Richard's corpse was. Yeah, I left a herb. Oh, I... I only went for that. I was thinking of a different room made of herbs. Uh, oh, I'm... the one with this throbbing tentacle plant thing. No, no, just one that's water war herbs. You know, it's like, sort of... It's not even proper bricks, it's just herbs. I might have dreamed that. I don't yeah, know. Fair enough. Actually, they, uh, they, they, you break it down to the law. Why are there even fucking plants here anyway? It's not like there's uh, some kind of botanist who's just thinking, I'll leave these pots around, building and stuff, all over the place. 
people will love them. They're Mate. in the middle of fucking hallways. Mate. Or on desks. Maybe they belong to the zombies, you know, they wanted to spruce up the place. Maybe the zombies wanted to spruce up the place. I suppose that's possible. I have uh, this idea that they were genetically modified as an antigen to the T virus. They are left everywhere for convenience sake. Because if you get bit by a zombie, you turn into a zombie, don't you? Except I'm sure. I have plot armor. I can be bit to fuck as long as I make it. Well, but the that, that's the thing. You, you know, these you've been having some of these herbs. You, you, you safe, bro, because you, you got these genetically. I don't even care about this game. Why am I coming <laughs> up with this shit? This is a theory. Well, fuck it. You know, just it, Resident it, Evil Mythbusters with Jay. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I, I watched a Mythbusters thing the other, the other day. It was on how to polish a turd. Incidentally, Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, it had a remake. Yeah. <laughs> Joe played I a see what you did yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Giant snake remounts. Oh, it's probably it, still going to be a bit shit. It's cute. It's going to be dead goo. The funny thing is, Joe played a piano earlier in the game, and then you get to this bit, and you think, I'm going to get deja vu, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get deja vu if I get none by this thing. I'm just going to spaff this whatever it is all over it. Oh, you little ah, shithead. So, it's missed me, and I missed it, and now it's hit me. Steve, you're, you're a big fan of this series, right? Overall, yes, this so game... Oh, I, I got a little miniature rant for you. So, do you, oh, for do you like its original title, Biohazard? Yes, I do. It was do, named after... Oh, it's dying. Doesn't it make a lot more sense, despite being named after a shit band, by the way, um, doesn't it make a lot more sense for the for the series in... in in general, as a whole, than Resident Evil. Yes. This one game, it's in a house. There's something evil in the house. It is Resident Evil. Yeah. Yeah. The the, the next one is primarily on streets station. and police station and what the fuck. The third one. Where, where is that? Is all it, over Raccoon City. Yeah. So like, all of a sudden, the title Resident Evil doesn't make any fucking sense. Actually, no. Interesting piece of trivia about that. They changed the name from Biohazard to Resident Evil because they thought it would be rather dickish to trademark a word as a game title. Ah. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I king, see you dickhead. Where you're going there. <laughs> yes. What you did there was seen. Are we saving Barry and Chris? But yeah, that's actually true. And this is a point now because if I, I need to know if I'm saving Barry or Chris. Yeah, fuck it, do it. Ah, okay, in that case then, we have to stand around like a dilatory oh, bogey for five seconds. Sorry, Jill. Yes, I know, we have to wait. So a... Resident Evil 4, where is that? That's in a village, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Resident Evil 5, where is that? In a African town. It's not a Which house. moves to a offshore facility. Number 6 is in space, so... Like... The 6 is all over the globe. Yeah, well, which is in space. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, it's it stopped being Resident Evil at number 1. Why, why have they just gone with it? I don't know. Well, what would you have called it if you couldn't call it Biohazard? You didn't want to piss off this band that wasn't particularly very good. I just would have called it Biohazard. I would have listened to their CD, thought, yeah, I've, I've had more musical farts, and just called it Biohazard. Thing is, uh, you could have got away with a subtitle from another game and just called it Outbreak. The ge the game was um, oh, was it? The game was actually inspired by another survival horror game on the SNES, I think it was. Or yes, well, I can't Sweet remember Home. the name of Sweet that's Home. it. And they could have just gone with that again. And yeah. you mean it wasn't inspired by the original PC title Alone in the Dark, which had the shit cameras? No, it was more inspired around. by Sweet Home, apparently. Because Alone in the Dark did the shit camera wandering around. Oh, the no, house this is basically. The, it, um, what's the word? Alone in the Dark is GoBots. And this is Transformers. And this is Transformers. Yeah. Didn't they like redo Alone in the Dark as well? Multiple times. Which, done it all. which was like on the 360 in mainly streets and stuff, and uh, it was also shit. Mostly yeah. Central Park. You also had NPC support, so you weren't alone, and it wasn't that dark. Because <laughs> everything was on fucking fire! Yeah, just... Oh, I'm all right. Don't worry. Barry's beard. It's actually quite up close now. It's like your beard. He doesn't have a massive bum, though. That's a lovely purple, isn't it? It's like someone sp spilled Ribena or other copyrighted juice all over the, uh, sort of, floor. <laughs> copyrighted <Thank> juice? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> that sounds like a TV show. Yeah, yeah, it's my it sounds TV like show. selling your sperm. <laughs> it's my sperm. Everybody, Please. give me money for my copyrighted J juice. Copyrighted J juice. Yeah, JJ. I'm, I'm just my brain's just falling apart. I put the J in jism. <laughs> oh yeah. So if we have to give you a blowjob to get it out, would be a BJJJ. <laughs> 
Yes, it would be a BJJJ. This is actually the creepiest tune <laughs> in the game. You can't hear it, but you know the, the viewers can. And uh, it, it, it's not drum night. <laughs> Good night, sweet. So we were prince. talking about blowjobs, and then you blew someone's head. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, fucker! I need Why to did reload. You not shoot! I need to reload. <laughs> That's right. Take it, fucker. Oh, that's not reloading. It's basically like she's got an itchy shotgun and scratches it. So cocking the shotgun looks like wanking. This is coming from a man who loves doom of the infinite shotgun that never needs to be reloaded. But at least it looks like properly cocking. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look like, mm, my shotgun's a bit itchy. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Yeah, I'll see a doctor about that in the morning, but for now... Maybe it's got tetanus from the blood. Maybe. Or maybe know. it's going rusty. That links in with the tetanus more. Oh, it's the first time. Whoa! Well, Synchronised head banging zombies. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be dead banging zombies soon. <laughs> Pun. Ma right. Maybe they, they did look like they were fucking that corpse. Oh, or head banging. I think they were listening to. Yes. Them. Oh, even better. Nice. Inconsistency in their deaths. So, so now they won't be listening to Biohazard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one zombie and a hunter and Eat a snake bite. Shit. Yeah, I forgot. Eat that one. Oh, I'm gonna go one, one better and just. You know. Let's have a look. What does it actually do? Really? I think they're full heal. Medicinal spray. I can heal any wound with this. Yeah, they are full heal, aren't they? They're like yeah. sort of a red and green herb together. Yeah, red. If uh. she can heal any wound with that, then why is the oh, hunter an insta kill? Herb. Game. Stop assuming everything. Combine it with like one of the other green herbs. No, I'm herbs. saving for red herbs. Oh. You can't. Is that. No, oh, no, he's not alive as well. Okay. Sometimes they are nomming on zombies that are actually alive. You do know if you combine uh, two red herbs, it will give you the most delicious pizza topping. <laughs> Peppers, I like that. Yeah. Silly Steve. It doesn't look anything like a pepper. So, oh, no. I don't want a herb! Kick oh, it! <laughs> That's the best bit. Where you Thrilled goal! Where the fuck did it go? It just like disappeared. Yeah. You kicked it in the lift. You're now taking it up to like throw it at Hunter. Ah, oh, that could be great. Yeah. It's you, like lollipop chainsaw. You're just wandering down the lift with a zombie head going, Alas, poor Yorick. <laughs> I knew him not much, but he tried to bite my ankles off, so I kicked him. <laughs> the end. Anyone think I should make these games? Because I do. They'd all be so incredibly stupid. At the very least. Like, don't fuck my life. <laughs> These aren't actually all that threatening, but this sometimes can jump you. You did like to make the scene where one walks very slowly and clumsily downstairs. I'll do it on my way back round. Just you for you. You don't have to. Just for you, Mike. You've already been in the room where on the director's door shot cut, it sounds like Wesker's had his fucking tires let <laughs> down. Yeah, you have to look up that. It's um, narrow and close. Door shot version. <laughs> Uh, it is perhaps one of the worst things I've ever had my ears listen to. Imagine that Wesker gets out of the mansion, having succeeded in killing all of Stars, and his tyres are down. It fits so well. It's a beautiful image. What is it like, sad trombone, you know? <laughs> it's <laughs> not that far off. It's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, uh, if, if this is a, is everything Merc is making it out to be, I'm not with you on it being terrible. It sounds fucking amazing. Uh, well, each their own and stuff. Because you know, like on a previous part, I was saying how they should have just ran with the so bad it's good thing and made this like the Rocky Horror Picture Show game. Yeah, you know, I sort of. If they're camping up the soundtrack for a re-release, you know, it's. it's it's like they were building up to that. People wanted serious business. It's people like you that are ruining games for me. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because copyright, but Jay's sentence then gives me a glorious image in my head. Steve's turned his back on a hunter. He's realised what that means. He's running away. And Benny Hill. I just, uh, I... See, I yes, that's all I'm saying. In fact, you know, Resident Evil, it needs, it needs kind of laughter. You know, you blow a zombie's head off, you get the canned laughter. It needs to be black and white at about double the speed and all the dialogue, fuck it. Just have cue cards, make it a black and white silent movie. But no, Barry still has to speak, surely. Huh? Barry speaks for everybody. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah, Barry speaks for everybody. In fact, all the dialogue, you know, the cue cards, it's just every cue card says Joe Sandwich. That's it. You're not even given any clues. Ragtime piano music playing all the way through. 
You know, you got Plant 42 with its uh, Jism exploding tentacles at you, and you got. And I can do that because none of that shit's copyrighted. God. So, first key to saving Chris. I'm just going back to the game. You're Question Does this one have the chim chimeras in it? Uh, yeah, those horrible, like, I can't believe they're not the fly. Yeah. From the thing. Not the thing. The fly, Steve. <laughs> Was that Modisk? Yeah. I don't know what the actual M O stands for, but still. M O Modisk. Um, yeah, the fly is in the one with Jeff Goldblum. They literally look like Brundle fly. Mo disc, mo problems. <laughs> I think we've lost Jay. <laughs> mo disc is my favourite. That's all. Transit threesome. What? I don't oh, know. Oh. Door porn got old. Sorry, just for a second there. I thought that this was... one's not door porn though. It's inventory porn. Yeah. Well, I like, like those gates though. Yeah, that gate's pretty sexy. That's alright, baby. Shuffle that car. I don't get why they had to put this elevator going down bit. C the because the gate is sexy. Because elevator going up. So you have to see the gate fucking twice with one button press. Be be because it's... Look how sexy it is. You'd rub yourself up that and risk the rust. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, like, yeah. that's like a super multitasking pole dancer. I don't even know anymore. My brains just fell out my bloody arse. Quick, stick it in the microwave. <laughs> My ass. Stick my ass in the microwave. That is a surefire way to get my ass burnt. That is one. Well, that's a crusty arm. Jill's hand is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <coughs> and it's the fastest zombie in known. Oh no, it's not. It's only in the advanced mode where he's like got nitrous on his feet. Is, is that all you did there? Just like some For Mike said to put him in, I let him have his <laughs> moment of fucking fame. Is there actually nothing up or down there? It leads back to the mansion on the side I don't want to be on. Oh right. It so. leads to the corridor where you find the first zombie and there's hunters in there that Steve will shit himself about. Fuck off. Right. I think I might have died there. I'm just gonna say fuck that noise, get back out the mansion the conventional way, and then it's through the sewers to the laboratory, and then it's game over. Which will be next time. Let's just make a beeline for the box and leg it and save it and forget the game exists for ten years. Come back. Oh wait, I have to fucking do it before. That. <coughs> Climb the rope. I have a cold. <laughs> Was that a fart? Yep. Oh, uh, I hate this game. Yeah, it's. <clears throat> I I have yelled. How did this shit get a sequel? It's so protracted. You know, it's like one of those things that people um, sort of uh, back in the PlayStation and Saturn sort of era, they see this kind of thing and it's got weird camera angles and they're mistaking the novelty for something good. And they're like, yeah, it's so atmospheric. No! Dip yourself in the toilet when it's filled with bleach and set yourself on fire. It's shit. FYI, the Saturn version was better than the PlayStation It version. actually was. It had... <laughs> It got extra enemies. It had no. It had this uh, sort of battle mode. battle mode thingy. Yeah, that uh, that's more game than the actual game. Basically, like game designers now should take a hint from back then, because the PlayStation was going. Our graphics are smoother. We look nicer. So Saturn went tough shit. We've got more game. Yeah, yeah, game. Motherfucker. Now, of course, these days it'd probably be released as DLC, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Right. So I want to tell the shotgun to go do one. It's not welcome in my box anymore. Not that Merc and I are Saturn fanboys or anything, but... <laughs> no, yeah. Anyway, where are we? Where is the fucking... There it is. <laughs> Mo disc. <laughs> it's the best. You know what the best thing is? There's three of them. Ooh. Right then, guys. See you next time. Bye. See ya.